yo, yo, welcome back, Millers. We've got a great show for you today, so stay tuned. No doubt. I'll go ahead and start us off. Seniors, do you plan to further your future, move forward in life, get some free college education? Then a local scholarship might be for you. Local organizations and businesses have scholarships for NHS seniors who want more education in their life. Information applications can be found on the guidance webpage. Do not miss out whatever you do because it's free. I use Kelly School of Business is hosting a two-week summer program called Business is Global for sophomores, juniors, and seniors interested in experiencing business, language, and culture. Have all these awesome opportunities while staying at an IU residence hall transformed to reflect different food, decor, and pop culture. If you're interested, see Miss Frank in the guidance office by this Friday, March 12th. Hey, fellas and lady fellas. If you plan on taking an online course during summer school, you must apply by Friday, March 25th. You can find all the summer school applications on the NHS website. Also, there won't be any paper applications this year, so be sure to fill them out online. Hurry up, classes are filling up quickly. There is a mountain of lost and found items in student services. If you are missing any clothing items, water bottles, lunch boxes, or coats, come and look before they are gone. Donations will be made soon, so don't be late. The NHS Thespian Troupe invites you to the NHS Spring Production of Lost in Yonkers by Neil Simon. This show is set in Yonkers, New York, 1942. Performances are today and until Friday in the NHS Auditorium. The pre-show will include NHS students singing and playing songs from the 1940s. It begins at 6.30 p.m. and current is at 7. Tickets are $8 and will be sold at the door. Come support your NHS actors as they take you back to 1942. All thespians and aspiring thespians, listen up. The deadline for logging thespian points for this year's induction ceremony is tomorrow, March 10th. All thespians are encouraged to log their points, and Mrs. Neaton will be accepting passes via passwords to room 1215 at 1.35 on Thursday. If you don't already have a prom dress, come out to the Cinderella Story from dress, prom dress sale on Saturday, March 12th from 12 to 3. The dress sale will be at the Monon Trails Elementary School in Westfield, and there will be all beautiful dresses for only 20 bucks. Don't miss out on this awesome deal. If you want to relive the excitement from Faculty Night Live, today is your last day to buy DVDs. They are $5 and can be purchased at any lunch. Look for the table with the FNL sign. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> now let's flip it over to birthdays, lunches, and sports. <laughs> Having trouble putting your thoughts into words? Have a paper due next class? Need help revising and editing your writing? Open once a week in AL. The NHS Writing Center can help you develop your thoughts, plan your papers, and revise and edit your essays. Dang, Caleb! Dang, Caleb! <laughs> Dang, Caleb! <laughs> Dang, Caleb, back at it again with the Novels of Spirit gear. Get it at the gold mine. <laughs> Katie, I'm afraid I'm going to have to place you under arrest. Nice try, but you're not a cop. I'm the sheriff. Look at the jersey, number 18, Peyton Manning. That may ring a bell. Mm, oh yeah, didn't he play for the Pacers? Leave the set. But... No, just leave, you're done. Let me at least finish sports before you kick me off. Okay, fine. Omaha, 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 <laughs> set hut. <laughs> Your NHS varsity baseball team is totally juiced ah, to be ranked fifth in the state. Bad. Good job, guys, and good luck this upcoming season. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be having a meeting tomorrow in the LGI room at 1.35 during AL. They will have snacks and Bible study led by Coach Wilhelm. Send Coach McCullough a pass request on passes to attend. 
You may have noticed an unfamiliar face in the weight room recently. Maybe you've seen him coaching NHS athletes or breaking wood with his head. But reporters Benny Heron and Noah Billings give us a look at Coach Jeremy Raymer and his time as an assistant coach, strength coach at Noblesville. Taekwondo is one of the hardest and most demanding sports in the world. Taekwondo athletes are one of the most athletic people in the world. Among those athletes is NHS's own Coach Jeremy Raymer, former member of the USA team. I'm Coach Jay. I'm, a, uh, I'm the assistant strength and conditioning coach here at Noblesville High School. And outside of Noblesville, I'm a head taekwondo instructor at Korea Taekwondo Academy off of 96 in Hag Road. And I'm the uh, sport coach for the team that travels around the uh, nation in international competitions to compete. Coach Jay was six years old when he first started taekwondo. Surprisingly, his love for martial arts started with him watching Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I started doing Taekwondo back in 1996 when I was seven years old. Uh, Power Rangers were really big along with the Ninja Turtles back when I was a little kid, so uh, that was a big influence of mine. From the start, Coach Jay had a love for Taekwondo. Through hard work and dedication, Coach Jay was able to achieve his three greatest goals. 2006 was the first time I medaled um, at the national level. As a junior. After his career in Taekwondo, he became a strength and conditioning coach where he's mentored by Coach Brian Clark. Being 100% honest with everything, you know, he's, he's definitely grown, like I said before. He can actually task very, very well, you know, and I'm going to keep pushing on him to uh, kind of create his, his own little shape of how to do things. And But no, he he's definitely has leadership capabilities where he wouldn't be in the position he is because it's not just here, it's also in the other realm of what he does outside, outside of Noblesville. For NHS News, this is Ben Heron, Noah Billings. So if you see him in the hallways or the weight room, be sure to give him a roundhouse kick or maybe just a high five and tell him that he's appreciated. Cheerleader, cheerleaders and peppy NHS students. There's a call-out meeting for anyone who wants to cheer at football games or basketball games and needs to attend the meeting on March 23rd at 6.30 p.m. in the NHS cafeteria. Cheer tryouts are on April 13th and 14th from 3.30 to 5.30. Don't miss this call if you're interested. I think I can speak for Katie and everyone else in saying that dating violence needs to become a thing of the past. Here's a video to show how dating violence can affect not only you, but your loved ones. Take a look. Well, she was drunk. Boys will be boys. I'm sure they'll work it out. He warned her. She was asking for it. Why doesn't she just leave? It's time to end domestic violence and sexual assault once and for all. 